Welcome back to the 12 Days of Cell Salts. And today we're going to talk about Cali Mirror. But first, if you didn't see the introduction, you need to go back and watch that so that you understand what we're doing here today. And all um, these 12 days, Bree and I are talking about the 12 cell salts. And we are just going to go through the keynotes of each cell salt. So if you missed any of the previous ones, go back and watch them. Today is Cali Mirror. Some people say Cali Mirror. And that is potassium chloride. Potassium delivers sodium and we need both to be balanced. It maintains blood pressure and acid, the acid base balance. So we already talked in the introduction about what low levels of sodium and low levels of potassium will do. So go back and watch that one. The main focus with this remedy is the whole connection to catarrhal discharges. So we've been talking about these old terms. Um, in these few days and catarrhal is lots of mucus coming from the nose just like a runny nose but also just lots of mucus so it could be anywhere it could be dripping down the throat like post nasal drip um, and this is the second remedy used in colds so when I when I say that I mean ferrum Foss is first and then once the cold starts to ripen and the thick white catarrh, meaning mucus, forms, then it's the calimere phase. So you could, you could use the calimere for that. Um, this is, calimere might have an aversion to fat because it's like the white, the thick white mucus that calimere has. Um, and this thick white mucus that calimere has can be coming really from anywhere in the body. So it does, it's not just the nose. This is an albumin-like white of an egg. So, you know, when you're blowing your nose or having this discharge from wherever, that's what it's kind of like. And this can be, um, this is a great remedy for a eustachian deafness or a blockage in the eustachian tubes. This is great for ear pressure. Calimur builds fibrin in the blood cells, which supports our connective tissues. This is very important. It supports skin, mucous membranes, and digestive fluids. You might have a thick white, whitish gray exudate from throat, nose, and ears. So again, that's all that mucus, you know, especially in your cold, your hay fever, or whatever you're having. And some people don't even have a cold, and they just have lots of mucus. So calimere is a great one to use for that. This can be great for clogged arteries, discharges from the eyes, Digestive problems with thick, white coated tongue. Some of these remedies you're gonna you're gonna see me talk about the tongue, and or us talk about the tongue. And so stick your tongue out, look in the mirror. If it's coated or colored or dry or cracked, geographic, any red bumps, a red tip, anything like that, there is something going on in your body that it can show itself through the tongue weird that's pretty cool <laughs> um so if you have a thick white coated tongue you might think of calimere calimere is great for abscesses um this is has a relationship to the liver it's a liver salt calimere can have can be good for eating disorders like anorexia or delusions that they must starve. So you would want to use a high potency in this one, in this situation, because this is a mental emotional condition. So we're not looking at six X's, you know, in, in the mental emotional condition. So this is, um, might have white mucus. Uh, well, the white mucus indicates liver congestion. So if you okay. have liver congestion, there are other things you can do. Mm -hmm. So that is like a castor oil like pack a on the liver. type protocol or not protocol but a detox is what you want to do when you feel like your liver is clogged or whatever congested is the word that we've used maybe or maybe what you were saying detox, i guess i but, maybe not detox you know if it's congested yeah we got to get it moving yes okay yeah that's yes. what i mean i think yeah I'm using so the wrong um words, but yes yeah okay yeah so um, there are some detox remedies, 
but yeah, when the liver's congested, congested, things can't move and um, it can't do what it's supposed to do. So we can't assimilate or absorb these minerals. And so a castor oil pack on your liver at night can be wonderful for liver congestion. And you also need lots of fat. If you have liver congestion, you need lots of good fats. And it's my opinion that good fats are animal fats, butter, um, you know, coconut oil and olive oil and avocado oil are good fats. But I think that we also need animal fats and, and especially butter. So um, that can help get the liver moving, the liver, um, the bile. So this can be great, uh, calimere can be great for spider veins, acne, um, rosacea, let me say this, rosacea, red color, reddish color in the face and the white coated tongue are all liver symptoms um, that, sh that show you there's something up with the liver, uh, liver congestion. And then if it's thrush, if you have a white coated tongue because it's thrush, then borax is the number one remedy for that. So this might be useful in babies. Borax. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for the babies. So thank you for joining us for day five of the 12 days of cell salts. We'll be back tomorrow, and Bree is going to teach us about Califice. Merry Christmas. <laughs>